So guys, we just arrived in Mercado, Mercado, Municipal in Sao Paulo. It's the first time here, so we're going to check out what's going on. And there's also a particular sandwich that I want to find, the famous pastrami sandwich. I've seen it many times in many videos here on YouTube. So it is my ambition to try and find this sandwich. Let's check it out. famous mortadella sandwich of the Mercado Municipal in Sao Paulo. So I've decided to go with queijo, quente com queijo, mortadella bolog. I'm excited to see what this is all about. The shop in Perfect. Okay. So here it is the famous Mortadella sandwich. I don't know how many slices of ham this has in it, but quite evidently it has a lot. It looks big. I don't know if I can eat all of this in one go. I'll certainly try to get my mouth around this. We got a little shop. I didn't even ask for it. They just deliver it. <laughs> it's non stop. That's very good. A bit of a mouthful. I almost choked. But it tastes very good. Look at it. It's huge. What do you have? Let me show yours. Uh, the Mortadella Brazil. Oh, I still have this half left. I don't think I'm going to eat it right now. I'm going to take it when I leave. Take it home and eat it later. Tommy, let's have a look at the damage. She took a bite out of her second half and then oh, it seems like she uh, decided she couldn't handle it, which is fair enough because I don't think I could either. <laughs> it's a very big sandwich. Um, if you have the stomach for it, then yeah, sure, you can eat it. But for me personally, I'm going to take this home and enjoy it later. So we're just walking through the market now and it's, it's cool. It's got some good little things going on. A lot of bars, a lot of restaurants here. Because um, we went to the, the Mercado in uh, Belo Horizonte, it's very similar in terms of the things they sell. And I brought a bunch of stuff there. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm not really uh, looking to buy much here. I know they have the fruit thing, but I've been here for in, in uh, Brazil for quite a while and I tried a lot of these fruits. I know there's some different ones here, but we're going to take this opportunity while it's not raining to head over to Beko Jabama um, because we wanted to go over there. So, yeah, we're not going to stay here any longer. We're getting out of here. I've got my mortadella sandwich. I've achieved that. And it's time to go while the rain's not here. While there's no rain, it's time to get outside and uh, check out some more Sao Paulo. Vamos, gente. Vamos. Funny story, we were just uh, trying to catch an Uber outside the Mercado Municipal and we had two Ubers cancel on us and for some reason, we don't know why, we don't know why, um, but they just kept driving past and then finally one Uber stopped. We got the Uber to stop and we um, were trying to open the door but he wouldn't let us in and he told us that basically we were, he thought we were trying to, we were trying to rob his car. <laughs> <laughs> he said the, the area that we were asking him to stop was very dangerous um, so he was a bit scared and basically when we approached him he thought we were trying to steal his car it's quite a funny story also um, if you look at this video here he had the, the little sticker saying don't slam the door no batter a porta which I always find strange because in England it's like it's not really ever a thing it's not really a thing but in Brazil it's this big thing about like don't slam the door in the Uber um, so I'm always careful with this so.
So we're in the neighborhood back with Du Batman. Um, it's actually in a neighborhood called Pinheros and it has a, a sort of an area with a lot of street art, graffiti. Um, also has a lot of bars. It actually reminds me of my hometown, Bristol, because we have similar kind of neighborhoods like this. Um, when there's a lot of graffiti, obviously Bristol's the home of Banksy, the famous graffiti artist. So it kind of reminds me of one of those areas. For me, this is my personal favorite, the crocodile with the vaccination after the infamous quote from Bolsonaro that if you take a vaccine, you're gonna turn into a crocodile. I think this will, will be remembered forever as one of the most infamous quotes. Also, this one over here, with the beija flor, one of my favorite birds in Brazil. Such beautiful artwork. I really like this neighborhood. There's uh, a few little parrots around here as well. Um, it's quite chill, it has a little, quite a chilled vibe to it and has a lot of little bottecas around here. Um, apparently there's supposed to be a market as well around here, so we're gonna go look for that. But before, I need to get a uh, suku nata rice because that pastrami sandwich was so salty that I'm dehydrated. So we got fruta, sukuji manga. This is probably one of the best sukuji mangas I've ever had. I don't know where they got these mangas from, but it's, it's so good. Semasuka, no sugar. Um, doesn't need any though, it's just so good. Perfect, absolutely perfect. There's definitely one thing I'm gonna miss when I go back to England is to buy fresh fruits. We just don't really have it in England. If it is, it's in like a really expensive kind of juice bar. Um, but in Brazil, you can just find like fresh juices, super nice ice anywhere. Um, something that I'm gonna miss a lot and I always will miss. Delicia. Okay. Seriguela. Seriguela. Oh. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, Shuva de novo. I think we just had about 30 minutes without heavy rain. When we were just walking around back, back with du, du, back with, When we were just walking around back with du Batman, it, it didn't rain, but now when we're trying to walk to the market, it's just started raining again. It's kind of just makes it difficult to, to move around Sao Paulo because there's so much to do outside so many things to see outside but when it rains same as yesterday <laughs> it's difficult we have to go to the museum or something it stopped the rain so we're going to quickly head over to this market um, before it starts raining again. That's the way we have to do it here in Sao Paulo. Just looking at these steps here. They have little uh, messages. It says, Son GK, Mais gosto de ouvir na minha vida e a voz a voz de minha avó. De manhã, acorda, agraçando a dois, 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 por mais um dia de vida. Dentro Jesus. Seus. What's that word there? Oitenta. Oitenta. In Cinzo Anos. It's a guava tree. Little mini guavas. I've never seen a guava tree before. Super cool. It's 
so small at the moment. So I guess they're far from right. It's here on the, on the roadside, on the street, a little guava tree. I like to see them when they get older. I don't know if it's actually like uh, how big they are. I mean, the guava in the supermarket is obviously a lot bigger. So I don't, do you think it's like the same ones they sell in the supermarket? Yeah. It's gotta be a different type of guava, no? It's cool though. Yeah, we went to the market. We were we walked from the area where we had the juice, the sukuji manga, and it was about a 15, about a 10, 15 minute walk to the market. Near the guava tree, I noticed a guy, and I think me and Tommy were a little bit suspicious because as we was walking, a guy walked past us, and then five minutes later, he was walking behind us. Um, so it was a little bit strange, and we felt like maybe this guy was following us because the area we were in was quite quiet. And I feel like in big cities, you always have to be like careful when you're walking through neighborhoods and especially when those neighborhoods, there's not many people around because, you know, it's, it's easy for someone to steal your things there um, when no one's there because no one's there to, to be a witness or to see you. So um, yeah, we were a little bit suspicious that a guy was following us. So I didn't film um, too much after. I would just want to keep my phone in the pocket. <laughs> but um, we did make it to the market. I got some little shots on my, my small camera and yeah, it was cool. It had some nice little um, kind of handcrafted stuff, um, some kind of like artistic things. Um, as we arrived, a lot of the market was kind of closing down, um, but it was a really big area of loads of little small kind of markets and there was the outdoor market as well. Um, and I brought some things, of course. I brought some things. I love, I love chili sauce. If you've watched my videos, you probably know that I love chili sauce. So I found a little place um, where they were selling some pimentas. Um, so I brought this one. He said this one's like really, really popular. It's a sweet one. Um, it has a uh, tangerina and dedo ji mosa. I don't know what that is. No, is that, no it's not masa, it says mosa. <laughs> not say. Uh, yeah, so he says this one. I'm gonna try it when I go back to England. And I also brought this one, it has goyaba. So I think it's going to be another kind of sweet, sweet one. I love sweet pimenta. It's very good. Um, apparently this has a bit of cachaça de amburana as well. Um, and I also brought this one. He said it's very, quite hot. I think he said this one's quite hot. Pimenta with habanero. So it's more like a, oh, a habanero and acai. Um, so he said this one's quite like, a, more like a barbecue chahasco kind of flavor um so yeah we're gonna try those when we go back to england and see how they are but in general that area was cool i liked it it was very similar to like some places in east london and as i said before bristol where you kind of have like a very artistic bohemian areas that have these kind of graffiti and a lot of kind of artists there and a lot of like handcrafted markets um so yeah it's a really cool area um if i was staying here longer i probably would go back there and check out some of the patecos there but tonight we are going to meet some more subscribers. I posted on my Instagram earlier today um, if anyone wants to come and meet for a drink in Sao Paulo before I head back to England. Um, so hopefully a few people will turn up. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's going to turn up. I hope they will. But if they don't, then it's just going to be me and Tommy anyway. So tomorrow is Sunday um, and it's going to be the last day. But my, don't, my flight doesn't leave till midnight. So I have all day in Sao Paulo. So we're going to check out um, Avenida Paulista as it's going to be open just to the public tomorrow there's going to be no cars so i'm looking forward to that i'll make a video there um but yeah 
so far so good in Sao Paulo. I'm really enjoying, mostly enjoying the food here. There's a lot of good food here. So um, that's probably the number one highlight at the moment. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Um, hopefully tonight I'm going to meet some of you guys. Um, I'm looking forward to it. If you haven't already, subscribe, follow my journey in Brazil because there are more videos to come. I've got loads of more videos to edit from my previous few weeks in Brazil. So keep looking out for those videos and damn likey. And uh, I think my Sati logo, Genchi, Joe. All right, so earlier I said, is anyone gonna arrive to meet me? Guys, <laughs> disappointed. Brincando. Olha aqui. Siga, fale com quem?